the trees step by step how to create your own piece of blackout poetry. So to begin, we're going to need a few basic materials. So we're going to need to start off with a piece of text. I've just printed out my own text, but you can find something from a book, a magazine, or even a found object that has any text on it. So with our text, we're also going to be using a black marker as well as some colored markers. So I'm going to be using these colored Posca pens, but you can use colored pencils or color textures. They'll work fine as well. And the last thing you'll need is just a basic gray lead pencil. in creating a blackout poetry is to choose a few words from the text. So what we're going to do is pick out some words that really inspire us or stand out to us. So going through your text, just using a braille lead pencil, we're going to surface some of those words. You might choose to make up some words that create a sentence, they could be random words. Whatever you choose, it's going to be the basis of our poem. after circling your words in pencil is to go over them with a black marker and create some patterns and drawings in it as well. So what I'm going to do is use my Posca pens, my coloured pencil as well as my black marker to go over those words and really highlight them by using some shapes in between the letters that we've chosen. Once you've drawn your shapes, the next step is to add the colour. So whether you're using pencils or textures, we're going to add that colour in. to create your own piece of blackout poetry. There's lots of different ways you can go about it if you want to try different patterns, different colours or even using no colour at all. it and thanks for watching.